Entertainment Tonight. Melissa DeMarco portrays the principal on Degrassi, but she also plays the fictional entertainment host in Out There. Now, the comedy spoofs shows like ours, so Kim Dion wasn't exactly welcomed with open arms. <laughs> when the competition shows up, you're not supposed to be here. We're so talking about that. you. I know, I know. <laughs> it's based on true experiences that have happened to me over the years, being an actor and entertainment journalist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, check you out. Oh man, that might crawl off. The nature of our show is we make fun of ourselves and never the celebrity, and they come along for the ride. I heard you real dead of it, but this is like, wow. And then everyone has snots I'm done. All right, hi everyone, I'm Melissa. Oh. Welcome back to Out There. We're at the Flamingo Las Vegas. You were on last night with Nikki, like jokey things. You're funny. Well, thank you. Whoa. I heard you had a fake butt in the movie. Did you have to wear a fake butt? Well, I didn't have to. We found one. It's pretty surreal. It's it's really exciting. You're the man. Oh, thank you for recognizing me. <laughs> I mean, I always wanted to have children. Did you ever get used to this? No, are you kidding me? We could get used to this. Now I hear you like a woman who can cook. Is that true? I don't, yeah, I like anyone who can cook because I can't. <laughs> and I'll get hungry if, I, if I'm on my own. Yep, that's me. I know what you're thinking. My life is all movie stars, after parties, limos, drinking cocktails with celebrities, and getting backstage VIP passes. Glamorous life, huh? But with story deadlines, edit sessions, shooting schedules, publicists, agents, auditions, breaking that cycle, breaking that. It can be overwhelming. Hello? Melissa? What are you doing there so early? Hey, Charlie. No, more like late. I pulled an all nighter with Steve trying to get this Will Smith piece together. That's great. We need a celebrity one on one for Friday's show, Charlie. There's nothing in the lineup. I know that, Melissa. Why do you think I went out and booked you Julia for a one-on-one? -on -one? Julia? As in Julia Roberts? That's right. We are penciled in. Penciled in? Penciled in. Uh... Great. So basically, what you're saying is we've got nothing. And that's my job. Trying to make something out of nothing. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there in the world of professional entertainment journalism. It's six hours of waiting for two minutes of talk. Emilio, congratulations on the movie. How did you get from... We didn't get Emilio asked of us. That sucked. You try hard not to step on anybody's toes, but occasionally, Yo. you run right over them. Hey, listen, sorry, man. I needed this spot. I'm running late. Hey, Jamie? What are you doing? Uh, listen, man, I'm sorry. I didn't know that was your spot. Well, you know, you just like ran over here. Like me and Stu were like driving, and you like totally like almost ran us over. Excuse yes. me. Oh, 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 Luke Gossett Jr. Luke Gossett Jr. Oh my yeah. God! Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, we're well, in steers. Which one are you? Uh, oh, which one are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, forgive me, but I, I think you've got my eggs Benedict, and I don't like ketchup on my eggs Benedict. You know that? Oh. Why don't you just order a new one? Because now i got to go and get a biscuit, because I'm going to go and do entertainment tonight. Entertainment tonight. <sighs> I'm quite offended by this. Well, if you thing, keep it up, these yes. are I'm out of here. You know what you can do with your eggs egg Benedict egg with that ketchup and a holiday sauce mm -hmm. and those potatoes. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Buh, buh, buh. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Last time I'm renting officer and a gentleman. As I said, it's my job making something out of nothing. We have to go. We have go to. Where? We have to go in if they're calling. They're calling. I'm just here to interview Howie. No, no, no. no, no. But he's probably, he's probably in there. inside. Oh, oh this way? Yeah. Oh, okay. We have to go. Let's go. Jody, go in there. Maybe Howie's in there. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, hi. Hi. Actually, a little misunderstanding here. I'm really a host of a television show. I'm here to interview Howie. Do, do you want to audition to be a model? Well, if it helps me get the Howie Mandel interview, then this price is right. Call me Bachelorette number three. I got it. I got it. Oh, I broke my nail. <gasps> oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Show us. That's good. That's a low number. Good reaction. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Just gonna pick up my nail. Nail or no nail? I finally nailed the Howie Mandel interview. I promise you, if we had 27 cases, you would have been there. Okay. You're beautiful. Oh, you should have, you should have been there. Oh, and I'm sorry you, you didn't get into the show. This, you know, I, I really, I worked hard and it's not all about looks in this business, you it's know. It's not all about it's, looks. It's about, you know, he said from a makeup chair. And, and I've got um, a diploma in the whole thing, you know. So. You have a diploma? Yeah. yeah. In modeling? Mo modeling? No, I'm an entertainment journalist. Yep, that's me, an entertainment journalist. And every good front person assembles a good team. Like Flip, my intern. Yo. Yeah, hell yeah. Colin Farrell is Melissa there. Yeah, Colin Farrell. Okay. All right, dude, I gotta go. I'm busy. And then Sandy, my editor. Hello, Matthew. Also one of the moments. She likes to get close to her subject matter. I'm standing backstage and thinking to myself, like, I cannot believe what I'm about to do. What I'm about to do. Oh, Matthew Fox. Matthew Fox. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. The interview's Matthew. over. He's gone. Oh my God, there he is. There he is. He's gone. Matthew Fox. Matthew. Oh my God, he's so hot. Oh my Sandy. Yeah. Matthew. And my dedicated assistant, James works from home. Uh, please give me back the copy of The Key to My Place. Mine, that is. Yeah, that. Well, if you want it, come and get it. Hey girls, check out three o'clock. And don't even get me started on my man troubles. Nice. The total package. Thanks. What just happened? I thought he was into me. Yeah. We're having lunch and I thought he wanted to kiss me, but it's probably gay. Where are you anyway? I'm here for the Zach Braff interview. I'm running late, okay? I'll call you when I'm done. And it just kind of makes you have a knot in your stomach. It's kind of interesting because, um, you know, in this business, your face is a lot. You have a little something on your tooth, I think. That's right? You have a bit of lettuce on your tooth. I have lettuce on my Doesn't she? Yeah. I do? Yeah. Oh. You might want to get up. Go look in the mirror. We'll, we'll start you over. You don't want to sorry. do a whole interview with lettuce in it, too. Oh, God. I'm sorry. <laughs> we brought you a little guitar? Yeah. What? I wrote you a song. You did? No one's ever written me a song before. Baby, baby, baby. I can't wait to paint you naked. Baby, baby, baby. Hey, I'm perfectly fine without a man. It's my family who isn't. You want to marry my big granddaughter? Oh, definitely. You, you like it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Why do you think she asked me to be the maid of honor? Because I think outside the box. Because you're the older sister. And also, she feels sorry for you. Because she's getting married before you. Ma! Nice voice. Oh, she's a very nice girl. Yeah. Do you have a telephone number? But really, if it wasn't for my family, this biz would send me over the edge. I think I'm going a little bit insane. Nanu, nanu! Nanu, nanu! I think I'm losing my mind. Martini number... 10. 10! Mm. Mm. Oh. I think I'm going a little bit cuckoo. <laughs> Three o'clock is pushed to a two o'clock and I missed the interview junket because of a screening for another movie that's been canceled and I missed the production meeting because I'm with the broadcaster. Um, sorry, it's my daughter here. Um, I'll have um, a salami please, the big one there. Yeah, thank you. What do you see? Oh, that looks great. I'm really, really losing it. Penciled in is now booked. You mean Julia Roberts is booked? No, not Julia. Your favorite Bond guy, Pierce Brosnan. You're gonna be in 007 heaven. That's great, Charlie. We got a show Friday. Somehow, at the end of the day, it all comes together. We get the job done. Oh yeah, he does have a strong hold. Good thing I work out. Um, the movie. You sure do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was just looking at your My thighs. Right. <laughs> Stay tuned. A lot more coming up. And remember, we're out there. Like I said, my life isn't exactly glamorous. But you know what? <laughs> That's okay. Because it's the only life I know. And I wouldn't want it any other way.